So this is our second lesson in S2 chemistry, being a chemist. And in this lesson, we will be looking at how each of the different types of rock are formed. So you'll be able to describe the basic types of rock in this and how they're formed as a consequence. So specifically state that igneous rocks are formed from molten material. Sedimentary rocks are formed from layers of sediment and metamorphic rocks are changed forms of sedimentary and igneous rocks. So metamorphic rocks are rocks that have been transformed. So did you know meteorites are rocks that have landed on Earth from space? they did not form on Earth, which means that we've been able to uh, study rocks from Mars without ever going there. And when meteors land on Earth, they usually leave a big hole or crater when they hit the ground. And often rocks from space, we can see bigger minerals and crystals inside them than we are used to seeing on Earth. So, that is a picture of a volcano, and volcanoes are really important for the formation of one type of rock. So that volcano is erupting, you can see the big uh, ash cloud coming out of it. And volcanoes are where we get igneous rocks from. So igneous rocks, for example, granite, are formed from volcanoes and from lava. Right. They originate from the Earth's mantle and the magma, so that's liquid rock that's present in the mantle, when it escapes from a volcano, we call that lava. Now magma is molten rocks and igneous rocks will form when magma or lava cools down. Now, as it cools down, the temperature gets lower and crystals start to form in the rocks. Remember, igneous rocks, the way we identify them is that they have crystals inside them. And that is because they had this magma that was cooling down and it formed crystals. Now, depending on how quickly the magma cools down, the crystals can be small or large. If the magma cools very, very quickly, the crystals will be small. For example, the small crystals we get in granite. If it cools very slowly, the crystals will be large and sometimes the rock itself will look like a big crystal. For example, the middle picture on the right hand side, that is a type of rock called obsidian, which sometimes looks like glass. And that's because that magma cooled very, very, very um, slowly and it formed very large crystals. So to summarise, igneous rocks are formed when molten rocks or when magma cools down. Sedimentary rocks. Well, this is a canyon um, and canyons are a good source of where we can see sedimentary rocks. And in this picture, you'd be able to see lots of layers of different coloured rocks forming. And that should give you a clue as to how sedimentary rocks form. So sedimentary rocks are things like sandstone and that should give you a clue that sedimentary rocks are formed from grainy things like sand. Sedimentary rocks are formed when fragments of existing rocks and fragments of rocks we call sediment. Sediment is formed when the rock breaks down through erosion by wind, gravity or water. And then these bits of sediment usually make it into water. So rivers, lakes and the ocean. And as those particles are carried into the sea, they sink to the bottom. And if this keeps happening over and over and over again, you keep getting new particles or new sediment deposited on top and the older sediment gets squeezed together underneath. 
Now that squeezing together is a process called cementation, C-E-M-E-N-T-A-T-I-O-N. And that cementation puts a lot of pressure on the rocks, on the grains of sediment, and they fuse together to actually form a type of rock. And that's why sedimentary rocks tend to have these layers through them because they're built from one layer of sediment piling on top of another, on top of another, on top of another, until there's so much pressure pushing all the sediment together into a rock. Sedimentary rocks, because they are formed over a very long period of time and because they are formed uh, underwater, it's quite common that you might be able to find fossils among the layers. And that will be if an animal or a different type of organism died and also fell into the sea and sank to the bottom, as the sediment built up in layers on top of it, an imprint of that animal would be found on the rock. And that's what a fossil is. So to summarize, sedimentary rock are formed from layers of sediment and those layers of sediment undergo a process called cementation, which fuses them together. And finally, we're gonna look at metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are things like marble. And metamorphic rocks are when igneous rocks or sedimentary rocks get transformed through two different processes. The so metamorphic rock originates from the Earth's crust, so near the Earth's crust. And they start off as an igneous or a sedimentary rock. If your igneous or your sedimentary rock gets heated up a lot or gets a lot of pressure applied to it, then their form will change. So their form is known as their meta, and a change is known as a morph, which is why we get the name metamorphic rock. So if a sedimentary or igneous rock gets a lot of heat or a lot of pressure applied to it, the form of the rock can change. The heat usually comes from the Earth's mantle, and the pressure is often applied through plate tectonics. So that is um, the Earth's crust is made up of uh, different sections called plates, which are moving very slowly. And as they move, they're going to apply pressure. Metamorphic rocks, to summarise, are formed when sedimentary or igneous rocks are heated under pressure. So if you want to pause the video, and see if you can use each of those pictures to explain how each type of rock is formed. So each picture represents one different form of rock and shows how it's being formed. So you could pause the video and have a go at that at home. If you did pause the video or if you're just continuing to watch on, the first picture is showing lava or magma cooling down and that is how igneous rocks are formed. The second picture shows layers of sediment piling up on one another, and that's how we get sedimentary rocks. And the third picture is showing rocks in the crust having pressure applied to them from above and heat applied to them from below, and that would cause those rocks to change form. So that is how metamorphic rock forms. So hopefully now you're able to state that igneous rocks are formed from molten material, sedimentary rocks are formed from layers of sediment, and that metamorphic rocks are changed forms of sedimentary and igneous rocks. What we've got now is a set of show me questions. And uh, so this is if you want to test yourself. If you don't, you could stop the video here. But if you're continuing with the questions, here we go. What type of rock is made from magma? The answer is igneous rock. What is magma? So what is magma? Magma is 
molten rocks. So that just means rocks that have melted. How are sedimentary rocks formed? Well, they're formed by layers of sediment and also the word cementation. So piling on top of one another. What two things are required to convert an igneous or a sedimentary rock into a metamorphic rock? Well, those two things are heat and pressure. Give an example of a metamorphic rock. Well, things like marble and slate and quartzite are examples of metamorphic rock. And give an example of an igneous rock. So your igneous rock would be things like basalt, granite. And final question, what layer or in which layer of the earth do you find magma? Well, the layer that the magma is found is the one just under the crust, which we call the mantle. So that has been a summary and a few questions on how the three types of rock were formed.